In other words, which doctrinal error are you making, not necessarily which error in conduct you're making. A doctrinal error, for example, would be a person who thought um, out of pride that my actions are good enough to qualify me to enter heaven. That would, person would definitely be disqualified. The grounds in the Christian, to use Christian vocabulary, is hubris, meaning extreme pride, or takabbur in the case of Islam, and it is no question about it that God is could like to forgive even the greatest sinner if he has the humility or she has the humility to admit they're wrong. Whereas in the most righteous man in the world, if he contaminates his piety by being hubristic about it or having a hubristic kind of confidence that I will definitely be able to enter paradise in view of what I've done, will obviously be committing a major sin. So this is a, a cardinal sin, in fact. So this is not the dispute between us. The real question is... Um, to what extent the heretic commits an error of doctrine, meaning he believes something about the nature of God, which although permissible, meaning not sufficient to remove him from the ambit of Islam, is nonetheless a serious error. And of course, as you know, Sunnis believe that uh, the Shiite view of history and about the caliphate is, amounts to heresy um, because um, it is an untrue account of what took place. Uh, and uh, maybe the audience can engage me uh, when uh, after the lecture if there's particular questions of history that you would like to tackle with me. My own view is that the you know the Sunni view of history is quite eclectic and uh, uh, broad enough to encompass Shiite grievances. Uh, sadly, uh, it is 